Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're here to touch on Summer Game Fest 2022. Today, obviously, one of the first days we have the Xbox and Beth Beth Bethsaida, Bethsaida, however you pronounce it. Their, their talk will be on Sunday, so I'll be covering that as well. A lot of PlayStation content today and a lot of new worldwide releases what i want to talk about first is was the goat simulator 3 announcement what i loved about this trailer in particular i mean what incredible to see another goat simulator game come out you know because they are so fun and you know cool to play not the greatest games ever but they do you know they get awards they exhilarate accelerate what they can do with games they prove comical animated goats are the way forward but in, ultimately, they did the introduction just like the Dead Right Dead Island, Dead Island Two reveal, where you know this guy's stretching, has his earphones, and he's unaware of everything around him. The exact similar models, and you know the exact same things going on. And instead of always turning into a zombie, he sort of stands on goat um, droppings, turns around, and he gets attacked by a goat. I think it's the greatest marketing for a game I've seen in a while. It's sort of taking an a punch at Dead Island because they did all this advertising and they've never released. It's been like six years or seven, eight years, whatever it's been. It's been a long time since they unveiled the LA Dead Island game that never came to be. Um, Layers of Fear was announced. I think this is the third or fourth game in the actual series, but it's only called Layers of Fear. Uh, these games are incredible, very eerie and horror aspects that you know not many other games can accomplish but it is looking absolutely brilliant we got new looks at gotham knights which is just going to be one of the best games of the year easily uh we got obviously the last of us part one remake announcement i've done a video on that so that obviously i covered a bit more of the discussion but i'm very very excited to see that midnight suns <clears throat> I believe this was rumoured, but obviously officially it is out in October. So we get Midnight Suns and Gotham Knights, very two similar aspects of playing Marvel heroes and Gotham DC heroes, you know, Wolverine, Blade, Ghost Rider, and all those heroes, Doctor Strange. It's going to be an incredible game. The content they showed on the trailer was incredible, uh, visually amazing. I just can't wait to go into this game. I don't think it'll ever... <clears throat> I mean, I live up to, you know what... I, I, how much I love the Avengers games, for example, but we'll have to wait and see about that. Lay, look, I was going to say Layers of Fear. Lost of the Last of Us uh, multiplayer will be dropping next year. They got a teaser picture of two people on a balcony and, you know, all the infected being down below. So I think it's going to be apparently like a Battle Royale styled um, mode, which obviously I'm, you know, I'm intrigued by, but I don't know why every game has to jump on the bandwagon of doing multiplayer or Battle Royale. It works for certain games. It worked for Call of Duty because Call of Duty is one of the most popular games in history. Um, but we'll wait and see for that. And obviously they showed a picture of The Last of Us TV show, which I'll touch on in another video very soon. That's obviously dropping in next year. Uh, and obviously One Piece Odyssey for your One Piece fans, a cool animated trailer of the anime that will be dropping very soon too. And ultimately, you know, there was loads and loads of announcements and games that I didn't recognise, but a lot of, you know, there was like a... Um, an Elder Ring style game where you fight bosses and there's like a cyborg via a monster. There's loads of really cool looking games, but none of them really stood out to me in my opinion. Um, we're obviously waiting on Tales of the Borderlands Season 2, more confirmations on that. <clears throat> Wolf Among Us, there won't be any more updates on that for the time being, but we know it's coming out next year. No Lego game announcements, you know, I know Skywalker Saga just came out. But we're used to like two to three Lego games a year in the past or one a year. So it's been three, four years since Skywalker Saga was announced and now it's only just come out and I'm just waiting on the next Lego game. So we'll have to wait and see that, but a lot of amazing games, not many, like I said, I'm interested in or I'm not going to talk about because they didn't shout out. They are the main games I just wanted to touch on. Obviously, definitely going to be playing Midnight Suns, Goat Simulator and Layers of Fear, we'll see. And then obviously the light. The Last of Us stuff we will cover. I keep saying Life is Strange, and I will actually touch on Life is Strange. Obviously, we're going to probably going to be getting another Life is Strange-based game, as they tend to keep making either spin-offs or sequels, or in that sort of form <clears throat> over the years, you know, after the success of, success of True Colors a couple of years back, I am truly hoping we get... I, mean, I think it was last year, actually, True Colors dropped. I, I don't even know. Uh, but I'm really, really excited for the 
possible sequels to True Colors, a fourth Life is Strange, uh, a spin off, a prequel. You know, can they do a sequel to the Life is Strange comics that brings Max and um, Chloe back into the field? Who knows? So many possibilities. And I hope they announce something worthwhile in the Xbox <coughs> Beth Cedar talk. But we all know Skyrim will probably be talked about as it is. You know, not Skyrim per se, but the next Elder, Elder Scrolls game, Elder Scrolls 6. So we'll have to wait and see about that. But let me know down below your thoughts on the games that were announced. If any games you particularly want to see, let me know down below. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and goodbye.